terms of the um, the, uh, the the two and three CD set, plus of course the box set as well, you had to find one image for that that sort of summed up um, again Killing Joke's career and was very iconic. How did you decide what image to, to go with there? Well, I came up with a few ideas on that, some newish ones, and then I also thought it'd be nice to refer back because it is a box set. So you don't really want something that's that's new. It has to be something archival. And unanimously, the band all went for the one we used, which is quite rare for, for Killing Joke. There's always somebody doesn't like it. It's usually youth, but hi, youth. <laughs> they all went. They all thought that was the because that is an iconic Killing Joke image from the what's there, what's this for, follow the leaders era. That's that was it. You know, it was easy after that, and we just replaced the on the original follow the leaders. We I think we had tarot cards that guys were carrying, and we just put record sleeves instead. So and that image is based on the photograph of yours, isn't it? It's this one, yeah, which was taken on a beach in Lindos in the eighties, and we I was just playing around with it, and I'd cut it out and plunked it on top and I think Paul and Jazz our youth were in my in the studio at the time where I was working and we just thought it was hilarious. It just looked so weird, so silly. So we thought, yeah, let's do it, you know, what we're we gonna call the album. I dunno, what's this for? Yes. And that was it. It just went on from there. Have you ever been contacted by the guy in the photograph? He's become quite famous now. I don't think he knows somehow. It'd be interesting. <laughs>